Hi, I'm Ashwan. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you 10 tools. So which you can call it as productivity tools that everyone needs to have. Everyone needs to know about and everyone needs to use them. So in order to become productive and personally, I use all these 10 tools and it really helped me a lot in managing multiple things at a time. In If you are into many things, then these tools will really help you. So let's start the list. And these these tools are like all I mean, all these tools are free software, so you can keep them handy and you can manage all your works there. So let's let's start the list and let's go with one by one. The first thing is Google Calendar. And I think many of you have already know about this Google Calendar. So it's it's all about scheduling things. It's all about scheduling your task. If there are any meetings for you, you can you can schedule everything here. So if you are an employee working in an organization, so you might have know about this already. And if you are a student, try to cultivate the habit of, uh, I mean, marking your task in Google Calendar. So if, if everything was aligned in Google Calendar with respect to your work and with respect to your task, whatever it might be, then it will be easy for you to manage all your times. And Google Calendar will note for you when everything, when if you want to do anything. So like I will schedule, I will use Google Calendar for many things. So it's in my work and it's also if I want to make some YouTube videos on any particular time. And if I want to schedule interviews with people for my podcast so i will use this google calendar so it reminds you so whenever whenever if you forgot uh, being busy with some other work it will notify you that you have particular things it will give you an alarm kind of thing um, and yes google calendar is a great tool so if you if you want to manage your time effectively and the second one is notion so notion is personally a and it's it's a software or app you can download it for windows or your mobile or whatever it might be so you can use notion for everything so for your personal management, task management, or whatever it might be, because Notion is the kind of thing where you can schedule your monthly calendar, you can manage your tasks there. So you, you can you can write down what are all the tasks that you want to do, or you can create a separate page for that. So if you have any thoughts in mind, so you can use it as multiple things. So if there is a note in your mobile phone, so you will find notes in your Android or iOS app, right? So as an iOS app, similarly, you can use Notion as notes. You can write down your thoughts and if you want to uh, do some content you can you can post there because it it reminds you and you can set up um, i mean calendar meetings you can you can arrange all the tasks you can set up to do tasks and all the stuff i will share my screen um, to show you how notion works so i use notion very effectively and it really helped me a lot i will share with you yeah See, uh, this is the Notion tool. So I will show. I will share you. See, uh, I can arrange tasks something like this. So for May 2021, the task, the list of tasks that I'm doing, and I will do in the future, and all the stuff. For, you can arrange it something like to do doing. Uh, you're, if you are currently doing something, you can set it as doing ten. So that you can you can get some alignment, and you can also. Uh, make your content calendar so what all the content that you will do in this particular month and all the stuff so and yeah you can you can write whatever it, you can add a page you can add a blank page or you can write something so it might be a calendar or gallery you, you can put everything in one place it really it's an effective way of or uh, i mean organizing everything so personally i love notion of to manage all my tasks so and the third thing is calendly so as of course, there are Google calendars and all the stuff to manage your tasks, but Calendly is a very handy tool. So if you want to schedule interviews or if you want to schedule uh, a consulting kind of thing uh, with someone, so if you want to talk with a person or if you're a freelancer who is doing consulting to many people, Calendly is a quick app. So it gives you a flexibility to schedule 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes or one hour meetings. So you, you can also find a Calendly link of mine in the my in my LinkedIn profile in the future section. So if you want to schedule a meeting with me, you can directly book there you can book. So it's you know, it's very handy for people who, who schedule meetings every uh, frequently, every frequent time. And number four in the list is Canva. So Canva is kind of handy social media uh, management tool. So we can design all the graphics. So like for every time, it may not be possible for you to go uh, to Adobe Photoshop to design all the stuff because it takes time. So if you want to make something handy, so if you want to uh, create a LinkedIn post or Instagram post, every time there is no need to go to Adobe Photoshop because Adobe Photoshop takes time. But Canva is a very handy tool. So if I just want to post a LinkedIn post or Instagram post for that, I don't need 
photoshop every time so canva is a very handy tool so you can design all those stuff so you can see the overlays uh, for this video and the logo i mean i have put something here like a like symbol share all the stuff so i have designed using canva so for logos and thumbnails and all the stuff you need photoshop but yes canva is a very handy tool you can design everything there and number five in the list is linktree linktree is all about your your personal social media managing tool uh, i mean links management tool so it's it's like you can share one link and under link under your linktree profile you can embed all the links so if you open linktree there is a provision to add all your social media handles or whatever it might be you can add your instagram linkedin facebook youtube and all those stuff and if you want to share your all social media links to anyone it's it's not good to share one by one right it's it's a hard thing so if you share your linktree link so if people open that linktree uh, link then they will find all your links at single place you can manage all your social media links or whatever it might be in a single place it's also a handy tool so for people who are involved in many things and number six is zoom so i think zoom is not a new tool for you so wh whoever is watching this you already uh, are familiar with zoom but yes you can, you can do multiple things apart from meetings in zoom so you can record your screen you can record the video you can take some videos out there you can uh, i mean you can record the screen so even if you are a youtuber for i mean screen recording kind of thing zoom is a best screen recorder you can you can share your screen and you can record and you can upload it as a video and if you want to share uh, your i mean your work to someone so without explaining them you can record you can create a video in zoom like if you can, you can share your screen and record all those stuff and you can share them as a video file it's an advantage and you can also do remote control with i mean zoom so instead of any desk or team you you can use simply you can simply use zoom to control the other screen so there are various handy um, i mean tools available in zoom so make make use of that and the seventh one is grammarly grammarly is a kind of plugin it's a chrome plugin so if you open grammarly and if you add it as a chrome so because for for people who write every day so whether it might you might be a blogger or content creator so you are writing every single day even if you are writing uh, emails to your company people then sometimes without your knowledge you will write some mistakes whether it might be a spelling mistake whether it might be a caps i mean misarrangement of caps or if you miss comma or whatever it might be if you have grammarly plugin installed in your chrome it will suggest you so if you write something wrong it will it shows you as an error so you, you need to correct that it auto corrects everything so it's a handy tool for people who want to improve their writing skill or who are i mean who are writing every single day so yes people will get mistake because we are humans and it's okay to do some mistakes in writing but grammarly corrects you everything so and this is one handy tool and the next tool is toggle toggle is a time tracking tool so if you are someone with who do multiple things every single day you can track time using toggle so then you can you will get to know like how much time you are spending for one particular task and all the stuff so it, it it is also a very handy tool and number 9 in the list is wordpress so wordpress is is a kind of tool where you can design web designs uh, i mean web pages using the templates that they have so if you know wordpress so make them make it as a handy tool because if you open wordpress in your chrome you will see like you will find a lot of themes lot of plugins and all the stuff so if you want to build your personal website or if you're doing freelancing whatever it might be having wordpress as handy is always an advantage and the last one that i'm going to share you is send in blue send in blue is an app where you can send group emails so if you want to send emails to hundreds of people at a, at a single time then send in blue will work for you so there is a free version available in send in blue where you can send up to 1000 people 1000 emails at the same time it really saves your time so instead of uh, adding them uh, i mean in cc or, or bcc so you can send it as an as a as a somewhat great uh, in a great way so you can also find some templates uh, email templates and all the stuff it's a handy tool if you are managing with people if you're managing with your leads or whatever it might be so sending a uh, bulk amount of emails in a single time it saves you time and these are all the 10 productivity tools that everyone should must have the knowledge of even though i think like you are already using two to three, uh, three tools on even more than that already but having knowledge on all these 10 tools will really help you it makes you smart and compared to others in your competitive zone okay thank you for watching this video if you really like this video and if, 
if you want someone else to know about these tools please share this video if you are a new visitor to my channel please subscribe to my channel